man. Yeah, that's the only reason why I use the OEM uh, shifter plates. It's because of the uh, the rubber mounts. And be careful with this. This thing is so easily to get stripped out. If you ever remove this, make sure you are on there squarely. Because otherwise, you're going to end up ruining the threads. And But no biggie. You can always put a nut behind it. Okay, here it is. Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's just another uh, another day. Man, it's been a while since I work on uh, Snow White. I say it's more than a year. <laughs> anyway, um, this video is about the uh, uh, installing or uh, modifying our uh, shifter using uh, O2 to O6 RSX cables and also the shifter assembly. Um, just to give you a, a heads up or not a review or anything, but it's just night and day. I mean, you, you won't be disappointed if you ever put one of these, especially the hybrid one. I highly recommend it to use the hybrid. Um, I have nothing against K-Tune, but uh, it's just that uh, uh, personal preferences, you know, uh, it's just I found it too bulky for me. And also shifting from fourth to fifth is just too far away. Yeah, that's the only reason why I uh, I went after this hybrid one. And number one is decide what you want to do on your console. Do you want it cut or you want it uh, a clean look like this one here? Don't mind the holes. I put the holes in there before. It's because of uh, when I had a K tune on there. I just no way around it. That's why. So once once you decide what you want it to do, then it it will be easier for everything. You know, everything will almost be plug and play. Well, not plug and play, but uh, you still have to modify some things. Okay. All right. I'm using. I'm only gonna talk about what I have here. Then from there you can. It, 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 this use this as a guide more like I'm using an O2 to O6 hybrid RSX shifter assembly the cables are from uh, K-Tune this is the adjustable one and also O2 to O6 K-Tune adjustable cables I bought this as a set the cable and also the uh, the the bracket that goes to the transmission which is the that's the k2h conversion bracket this combination will not work without the k2h bracket the conversion bracket it has something to do with the adjustability the way that the uh, the tension is set up that's why you can modify your uh your existing oem bracket you know to the length where it should be but you know for 40 bucks more just just you can just buy it i'm gonna talk about installation the conversion bracket they will give you three screws and some will give you two spacers also one is too long so just make sure when you drive it on there once it's a stop just stop right there because you could drive it in but there's a possibility that you might crack your block only a possibility okay but if you could put out a spacer on there you know on the bolt that way you don't you know you have you don't have you don't run the risk of cracking anything but just to tell you the truth that that screw is too long the one that they uh they uh, supplied with it's just too long i ended up using a, a washer on top of it okay that's number one so number two is the uh the rubber plate the seal plate underneath the one that goes in the tunnel 
it's being held by two screws it's in there I don't know if you guys could see but there's a hole in there on a tunnel all I did was I just slit it in half and then run this cable over it on some cables if you're using a hybrid a hybrid cables you can remove the rod end and also the big end right here but it requires a lot of uh, fine tuning afterwards you have to make sure that you uh, you put it back from where it's where where it was you have to put some uh, Loctite over it and you know it'll require a lot of uh, lubrication to to slit it through the rubber seal but it can be done I did it before I I, I did it on on Miley yeah but uh, if, if you if, if you're not uh, skilled enough I, I would not recommend it but it's up to you you, know, you could I mean it's your cable so you can do whatever you want but on this one here all I did like I said is just I slit it in half and then run the cable over it and I just put some uh, sealant over it that way everything will be sealed once it's dried up you know any contaminants or elements from outside it would not it will prevent it from coming in especially the exhaust leak okay that's number two and number three mounting the shifter itself as you can see here let me just explain what I did here I'm using my OEM uh, base plates I just cut it off the reason being I use this is because I wanted to retain the vibration isolation isolator that's the only reason why plus I don't want to put more holes on the body that's why I already have those four existing um, mountings that's the only reason why I use the base plate the OEM one so it's up to you if you want to put some holes right here or you can buy a plate that will run across here and then line it up those four holes and use that so it's really it's up to you Or if you don't want to use any of it right but if you don't use those you have to put some screws on there otherwise now you have a hole you know underneath so you have to plug it up okay uh, my recommendation if, if, if you have well if you don't have any access to a welding equipment you can always pay someone a shop you know pay 50 bucks 60 dollars to have this thing welded it's right here just follow this line right there right by my finger this one right here make sure it is squarely with this right there just cut it right there right and then the ear just cut it off and then just weld it re-weld it right there And then once once everything is all welded, drop it on there, put some four four holes, and run your uh, your bolts, secure it in place, and then you're good to go. And then that's it. And then number four, if you have the same cables like mine, the adjustable one from K tuned, the lock will not fit onto the groove. It's too thick. This rod end is just too thick. To remedy that, all I did is just, uh, I just had a, uh, what, um, a sandpaper. And I start sanding down that uh, Teflon washer right there. And then uh, once I got the correct thickness, I put the lock in and it sit in place. Voila. And I'm good to go. any trimming in will be done inside you will lose some of the uh, some of some of the uh, trim inside of here but that's okay you know what you want me you what you trying to minimize is what's on the outside right here I have to trim this 
but don't trim it right away trim it as you as you go along uh, hopefully uh, this will help some of our uh, Honda Accord uh, owners you know as far as like upgrading their uh, their shifter assembly and like I tell you uh, I've said before it's just night and day man you know this thing is so short sometimes I don't even know what gear I'm at <laughs> you know <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> one time I, I was driving a buck in a buck something and uh, man I was chasing someone and man I'm still on fourth gear I didn't even know yeah so it's a good upgrade yeah like I said you, you won't regret it okay and I think uh, I don't miss anything anymore uh, hopefully uh, oh yeah when you install this or the cables make sure you put the right uh, the correct ones on where it's supposed to be okay this one right here this is for the uh, the gear itself the gear selector all right this is the uh, for the synchro to go to engage on the gear the engagement itself this has the big end on the transmission side yeah, the big one it's the one that connects vertically and then this one is the small end this one goes to the one that you'll be installing onto the uh, horizontal side. Yeah, this one. Hopefully, uh, this will help you guys out. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Whew, it's been a while. Yeah, I miss Miley. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching. Very nice. I like it.